Hello, thank you for joining me. We're on a tram in Basel. These trams, these are built by Siemens, and they're quite similar to the trams they have in Blackpool, except they only have a driver at one end, which gives this bay-like ending, so you can stand and see where you've been, which is, um, I quite enjoy doing that. Now we're on the newest part of Basel's tram network, and we're about to do something quite unusual. Obviously we're in Switzerland, Basel's in Switzerland. We are about to cross the border into France, so I think we're just going through the old crossing thing now. They opened this extension um, in December 2017. Some trams terminate here, you can see there is one over there, like the one we're on. Where is it? I'll show it to you. Um, it is there, there it is. 5014. So some trams terminate here, they go round the loop, but what we're doing is we're going to carry on into France. So this only opened just over a year ago. In 2014, Basel opened a tram network to Villeneuve in Germany. So um, I can just see a policeman with a gun. So if I do stop the video, um, it might end up being a Swiss only video and I'll make another one when we get into France. I'm not quite sure, but going into Germany, nothing happened. And it doesn't look like anything is gonna happen. We are moving, so we are now about now somewhere we are leaving Switzerland and passing into France which is really quite a novel thing to do to um, be on a tram and um, there we are that's, that's the old border customs and so we're taking a rather sharp bend you can see the return loop and um, we've gone off town quite a steep hill so yeah we're in France now so welcome to France um, although in this for making this series of videos I'm actually staying in Germany I've um, come to Switzerland for the day because I really wanted to visit Basel. I knew it had an amazing tram network as well as these modern trams. It's still got some quite old ones in service. And I don't know if you can see, we're just going around quite a sharp bend. You can just about make out the front of the tram as we take the corner. You can see where we've been. So um, it's really quite an exciting thing. So what I'm going to do, when I get to the end of the line, it's at a railway station. I haven't decided yet. I might buy a single back to the main Basel station because when I came, I came in to Bad Basel because I came from Freiburg in Germany on a local hall train. I'll post some pictures of that and um, so I said I also did the tram route into Germany to Wiel am Rhein which was also quite interesting. Now, I think the plan is with this route eventually they would like to open, to extend it to the airport which serves Basel, Malouz and Freiburg, but um, I don't know how far off that is. If anyone does know, then you're welcome to comment. Um, which stops? This is the first all French stop, I believe. I'm not sure. Saint, I can't quite see what it says. It's a Saint someone, whatever. Um, so I think I'm going to leave this video here and um, enjoy the ride. But I just wanted to show you a border crossing on a tram because it's quite a rare thing. It's not unique Strasbourg's tram system goes into Germany and a couple of other Swiss cities have um, tram systems which go into France so it's it's not entirely unique but it, it's quite unusual so um, from well I can't really say from Switzerland but from France but on a Swiss network of trams um, thank you very much for watching and au revoir